Recently, I was organizing my devices in the Google Home application and I came across a few different duplicates. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you three ways in which you can possibly remove duplicates in your Google Home application. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. So there could be a few ways in which you have duplicates showing up in the Google Home application. Now going through the different rooms here, let's say we head into the kids room. Here you can see that I have all the devices here and then I have the kids lights again. So those are actually the same devices repeated twice. Now I've noticed this go on and off for the last few days and I can't tell if it's a new feature or a glitch. So one reason this might be nice is you wanna just change one light, you can see it right here. But if you wanna change the whole room, you can see them right there as well. Cause if I tap here, then I have to tap again to adjust each individual light. So not sure if that's supposed to be that way, but that's one reason you see duplicates, not a huge problem, but that would only be within each room view. Now the second option is here in the studio, I have these lights called East Plus, and then I have one called East Plus North, East Plus South, and West Plus. So the issue here is the East Plus and the West Plus, I had actually set up with the Sangled hub, and then I reset the light bulbs and then moved them over to my smart things. And when I added them back, I gave them new names. So that is why these light bulbs are showing up as duplicates. Now there's two ways in which I could remove these. So one of them is if I'm no longer using the Sangled hub, I could just go in and unlink Sangled from my Google Assistant, and then these would be removed. The other option is to go into the Singlet application and clear out those light bulbs and then sync my devices. So heading into the Singlet app, and here I go under devices, and here you can see I have the West Plus and the East Plus. But like I said, those are no longer connected to my Singlet hub. So now I'm gonna plug my hub back in to refresh the devices on my Singlet account. Now that my hub is connected, I can just select the element hub, and here I can remove those devices. And now I only have the one hub showing there. If I head back into the Google Home application, I'm now going to ask my Google Assistant to sync my devices. That's always a good thing to do anytime you change or link any different services. Sync my devices. Okay, syncing devices for 15 providers. And now you can see that when I head back into the studio, I now have those two devices instead of those being repeated. Now the third way in which you could remove devices from the Google Home application. So here in the piano room, I have piano lamp and piano lamp. And then if I tap on here and go into the two lights, there are two piano lamps. So there's definitely some problem here as I have those devices repeated multiple times. So the first thing is we're gonna make sure that all of these turn on and off the device. So let's open up our split screen and head in here into the Nest application. And here in the kitchen, you can see that their lights are all off. So if I turn on the piano lamp, there you can see it turned on the light. Let's press off on this one. There you can see it's the same switch. And if I open this up, again, you can see turn on. There it turns it on. Off, on, off. So that's definitely a duplicate indicating that it's the same device multiple times. So the next step I'm going to do is find out where these devices are coming from. So if I tap on the piano lamp right here, and then I select the settings, this is going to show me where that piano lamp is linked to. So here, this piano lamp is actually linked to smart things. Okay, so now let's go back to the other one. So we're gonna do the bottom one this time, select settings. And here you can see that this piano lamp is linked to Wemo. So now that I know that, the reason I'm seeing two of these devices is it's a Wemo smart switch that is connected to the lamp and I have Wemo linked to the Google Assistant and I have Wemo linked to SmartThings, which is linked to the Google Assistant. So that is why they are both showing up in here. Now this isn't my only duplicate light like that. If I go back and I go to the front porch, here you can see the same thing of the dual lights and it's because one of them is from Wemo and one of them is from SmartThings. Now there are two options in which I could fix this. So one of them is I could remove the Wemo account and unlink it from my Google Home and then it would remove those three lights. The other option is I could remove Wemo from SmartThings 
and then it would remove those duplicates. So you kind of have to decide if you're using something like the SmartThings hub, if you want to have all of those devices linked through the hub, or if you want them directly linked to the Google Assistant through the Wemo application. Now heading into the Samsung SmartThings application here, you can see the Wemo porch light and you can see the other lights as we go through here. So there are definitely some benefits of having those devices linked to SmartThings. So I'm going to remove these from the SmartThings to see if that is going to fix the problem. So here we have the piano lamp. I'm just going to select the menu and then edit. And then here I'm going to select delete. Now I'm going to find the porch light. Same thing, menu, edit, and then delete device. It looks like that is all the duplicate devices. So we're gonna head back to the Google Home application, sync my devices. Sure, syncing devices for 15 providers. Now you probably saw it change, but here you can see there is now only one Wemo porch light on the front porch. If we jump back into the front porch, now we only have that light once. If we head back down into the piano room, now you can see that we only have the piano lamp once instead of it being repeated a bunch of times. And because there is only one light in the room, now there is just the on and off switch for the light. So that's how I was able to remove the SmartThings duplicates here in the Google Home application. Now let's say you wanted to do it the other way around. You wanna keep the SmartThings devices, but you wanna remove Wemo from the Google Home application. To do that, you're gonna to scroll to the top and press the plus in the top left-hand corner. Under here, you're going to go to set up device and then have something already set up. Now this is going to show you all the different accounts that are linked to your Google Home. So I'm going to scroll down here and here you can see that I have my Wemo and I could select unlink right there. It will remove my Wemo account and then those devices would no longer be within my home. But since everything is already cleared up, I'm not going to do that right now. I hope this video helped you fix the duplicate problem in your Google Home application. If you have any further questions about this, please let me know in the comments below. And if you wanna see how to use the new Google Home application, make sure you check out the video over there on the side. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.